The Real History of Ertugrul Top 10 Character Profiles 1. Ertugrul Bey Ertugrul is the father of Osman. With the small part of Kai tribe, Ertugrul with only 400 tents, went on the challenging path toward the west and made foundation for one of the greatest empires. After Sultan Aliadine was poisoned by Sadetan Kopek, he revolted against Kopek's government, and proclaimed his own state, the city of Sogut its capital. His love and respect for his wife was widely known. He had four sons with Halim Sultan, and he died at 90 years old. The last ten years of his life were spent quietly in his tribe, when due to the old age, he transferred all his responsibilities to his youngest son Osman. A historical proof of his life are the coins minted by Osman which identify Ertugrul as the name of his father, but beyond this not much is known about him apart from folk tales. There is information and historical facts about him that are kept in Turkish archives, within Ibn Arabi's chronologies, in Western archives about Templars, in Byzantine's chronologies and in legends, but this information only amounts to around seven pages of sources according to the actor engine Alton Duziatan, who gave life to this great character. Despite this engine considers it a great privilege to play Ertugrul as he was the first person in Turkish history to move away from the nomadic lifestyle and look to establish a state that went on to last 600 years. We do know he was buried in Sogut in 1280. Around his tomb are graves of Halim Sultan, Haim mother, his sons, Gundiz, Sivchi Bey, Saru Batu and Osman, his brother Dundar, Turgut Alp, Samsa Alp, Abdurrahman, and many others of his Alps, who reached Sogut with Ertugrul Bey. The ones that were not buried there, died along the way. 2. Osman I. Osman is known as the father of the Ottoman Empire as from his Beylik Principality, the expansion of the Ottoman territory began. In this history, you will often see Ottoman rule referred to as the Osmanli dynasty. Osman came very late to his parents. He was born late in Ertugrul and Halim's life. When Osman was born, 1258, Ertugrul was around 67 years old, and as Halim was older too, when normally women cannot have children anymore, he was considered as a miracle sent by God. Historians consider a black hole in Ottoman history during Osman's life as what is written about him was uncovered 100 years after he died. 3. Gundogdu and Sungurtekin. They did not support Ertugrul's path and as we know, and over time faded in history. They lived a quiet and unremarkable life, not much is known or written about them. There are only verbal accounts, which were told by people through generations. According to that, they suffered big losses during a great Mongol invasion, and what was left of them, they lived subserviently under the Mongols' rule. 4. Dundar Bey. He was a brave and renowned warrior, a good-hearted and loving man, devoted to his brother, his tribe, and his family. But history documents him as a weak personality and he made a lot of mistakes and throughout his long life. He died aged 92 or 93, by Osman's hand. He rebelled against one of Osman's decision and that was the last straw for Osman. 5. Turgut Al. He was one of the greatest and most renowned warriors in Turkish history, a blood brother to Ertugrul and his best follower and supporter, a very smart and capable man. He lived an unusually long life, even for our time. He outlived Erugrul Bey by 35 years, and he was killed in a battle, with his legendary battle axe in his hand aged 125 years old. After Ertugrul passed away, Turgut becomes the main support to Osman, and when Osman established his sultanate he rewarded Turgut with the highest position, as a governor of the new state. 6. Bamzi Bayrak. He was a legendary hero, his life has been described in the book of medieval Ottomans chronologies of that time, titled, The Book of Didi Korkut. He was a fierce warrior, good-hearted and very funny man. His love life was legendary since his heart was divided between two loves. He spent 16 years in a dungeon in Byzantine, and the princess, who lived in that fortress fell in love with him and helped him escape. 
It is not known when he died or how long he lived, only that he lived fairly long for that time, and that he was ambushed by trickery and killed, leaving behind a wife and children. We may only guess how long this character will be kept in this series. 7. Ibn Arabi as many of us know Ibn Arabi as a famous chronologist, mystic, philosopher, poet, sage, he is one of the world's great spiritual teachers. Ibn Arabi was born in Murcia, Andalusia, in Spain in 1165 and his writings had an immense impact throughout the Islamic world and Christian world. The universal ideas underlying his thought are of immediate relevance today. He was great inspiration and support to Ertugrul Bey. He died 1240 aged 75. After his death, Ertugrul Bey continued to draw support from Ibn Arabi, through his numerous writings, books, diaries, teachings and his other spiritual works, and through his followers. 8. Halim Sultan. She was a Seljuk princess, very dedicated to her husband and his greatest supporter. She gave up her title and her palace's life due to her love and dedication to Ertugrul Bey. Through her marriage to Ertugrul Bey, Seljuk Turks and Oghuz Turks, two greatest Turkish branches were irrevocably united by blood ties. 9. Haim Mother. She lived a long life and she came with them all the way to Sogut. She was a smart, caring and brave woman, who acted as the Bey of her tribe after Suleiman Shah had died. She was widely much respected and she was called, the mother of the people. It is not clear whether she gave birth to Gundogdu, she certainly brought him up. According to one line of sources, Gundogdu was her own son. But, since Suleiman Shah had lost his first wife, before marring Haim, there are some who believe that Gundogdu was born by that young woman. 10. Suleiman Shah. He was a greatly respected figure of that time, he had four sons with Haim mother. He died by drowning in River Euphrates, and the spot near Aleppo, where he was buried in a sacred place for Turks which is now in modern-day Syria, and that territory still belongs to Turkey, it is guarded by Turkey's military guards and you need a passport to get in there, to see the mausoleum of Suleyman Shah. Although due to the emergence of ISIS and the recent ruin of shrines, and tombs from extremists, the remains were temporarily removed last year due to the situation around Aleppo, and brought to Turkey to preserve. Thank you for watching.